Hey everyone, Kevin here with JCR Off-Road. Today I'm going to show you how to install this XJ door pocket in Project Real Hog. Alright, so really this is going to be a pretty quick and easy install. Essentially what we're going to be doing here is installing our door pocket right about in this location. Um, we're going to start by removing the door panel and getting it laid out on a bench or on the floor. So you can get this lined up, get your holes marked, drilled and bolted in place, and then slap it back on. And this door pocket is designed to fit an XJ, but really it's gonna install just the same on an MJ um, or really any flat surface that you have room. So we'll put dimensions on the website and you can decide if it's gonna work for you. All right, so the first step is gonna be to remove your factory door panel. Ours is equipped with power windows and power locks. So yours, if you have a crank window or something, might be just a little bit different. To get our door panel removed, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull all the Phillips head screws holding it in place. On ours, it looks like I've got three underneath here, one in behind the door handle, and then one up front. All right, so now that we have those screws removed, just using a panel removal tool, we can get up behind here and pull all the factory clips that are holding this door panel in place and lift it off and out of the way. Now we can just go ahead and lift it up out of the window channel. So at this point, we're gonna to need to get back here and disconnect any factory wiring that might be going to your switches and the door handle rods and lock rod that might be back here. These are pretty easy little clips. You can just kind of pivot them back out of the way and then push your rod either up or down accordingly to get it detached from the door. And then you can come up front and disconnect all these factory wiring connectors. Okay, so now that we have our door panel off and up here on a bench where we can work with it, we can go ahead and get this door pocket installed. Uh, basically what I'm gonna be doing here is right down in this lower portion of the door, I'm gonna use one of these bottom lines as a guide to kind of level it on the door panel. And then I'll kind of roughly center it up in this space. And then we can go ahead and drill our holes and get it bolted in place. Um, a good tip here is gonna be just to drill your first hole, get that bolt started, and then drill another one, maybe diagonal across from it. And that'll kind of locate the whole thing in place once you got those two bolts started. And then you can go ahead and drill the rest of them and get those bolts in, tighten everything up. Now, if you're working on something like our Manchi here that's got crank windows, you just wanna be aware of this clearance so you have enough room to operate your window crank handles later. All you're gonna to wanna to do there is move this down and back as far as possible, and that'll give you plenty of room. The only thing to be aware of here is when you move this down and back, you do have your plastic door clips behind there. You gotta make sure you're not gonna run into any of those when you drill your holes. Okay, so now that you got all those started by hand, you can grab your 3 8 socket and your 8th inch Allen wrench and tighten everything up. So now that we have our door pocket installed on the door panel, we can put this door panel back on. To do that, we're just gonna reconnect these electrical connectors that we took off before, reconnect these latch and lock rods and push everything back in place. Now we can reinstall all those Phillips head screws. All right, so that's it for this install. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 269-353-1184 or shoot us an email at info at jcroffroad.com.